Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen me before, I'm Chantal, nice to meet you. I'm gonna be doing part two of the James Charles house tour. I know, I know, I know, I know I'm late on this. I'm so sorry, but I'm here now. So that's all that counts. If you do like the video, make sure you press the subscribe button, press the like button, and make sure you put that notification bell on too, just so you know when I'm next uploading. You guys know the drill. I'm just gonna jump straight into this. I'm gonna say this again, I'm so sorry. I'm late but I'm here I'm doing it okay so let's get into this I'm actually really excited to see what's down those steps in that basement of his sounds kind of creepy I know hmm Hi sisters, welcome to the official 2020 house tour actually no 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 don't show that just yet in honor of hitting 20 million subscribers we're giving away $100,000 when I was looking to buy my first ever house, it was really important to me that I was able to have a good work-life balance, but for me- Right, James Charles, if you watch this, I know you're excited, but can you please slow down? I might actually have to put this video in like, slow-mo mode just so I can see what like you're actually saying like slow down and since my work takes up so much of my life it was really hard to actually find that so when we found this house that had a basement it was like literally a message from heaven above and I knew that this was going to be the one because we were able to turn this basement into the dream sisters headquarters and I'm so excited to show what you got there's a lot that I want to show you so let's go ahead and get started with the first room oh come on how can you put an ad right there Blech. <laughs> That's quite cool. It's kind of like a little cinema room. I've always wanted a cinema room. He's even got his own. <gasps> Nerds. Oh, hi! hi. hi. Ew. I didn't know you'd be here. I didn't even know you'd be coming in here. Welcome to my home. Sure. <laughs> you guys obviously all know Trevor and Drew. We were here in the movie theater, which is like- I, I want a movie theater. Like James Charles, the give me the money. Is so cool, it's not even funny. This was actually not on like my requirements list when shopping for homes, but I certainly am not complaining. This like his friends are literally just sitting there watching his videos. I'm pretty sure that's all scripted. It has to be. That's quite cool though. You know? Why would you not want a cinema room? And look at all those snacks. The big screen obviously there. We have some gorgeous candies set up. Gorgeous. I love gorgeous candies. <laughs> some delicious candies really lined up so you can pick your favorite. A popcorn machine over here as well. So literally any snack that you could possibly want to indulge in. A gorgeous snack, if you will. We have I quite like that room. Well, I'll let you two boys watch this for yeah, some reason in here yeah, alone. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Coming out of the theater right over here, we have the conference room, which I actually was not really expecting to use that often. In the last house, we honestly had a lot of our meetings in like the kitchen and the living room, but this has been really, really helpful to just kind of separate once again, living and working. And my team and I have meetings in here literally all the time. We have it is a nice table, room though. Dining I'm chairs, not gonna lie to you. It's a nice room. is not playing my videos. It's for airplay, any like presentations or projects or anything. And also for virtual Zoom calls. Is the sister salon. Now this is once again, a room that I didn't expect to have in this house, but I'm definitely not complaining. It is so cool in here. Obviously, a wig room. room! Beauty related tasks are a huge part of my calendar and daily life. So this room is like the perfect place for all that to happen. We have these massive and beautiful vanities for impressions with barber chairs as well. So I use this area. See, I really want a room like that. I'm actually really so jealous. Nice. Can we just appreciate the fact that the other video was like just under 17 minutes and this one's over 17 minutes. So like imagine the bottom floor has got to be bigger than the rest of the house. Like how does that work? A tornado had gone through it every single day, which was an absolute nightmare. So now I get to separate, getting glam for fun and actually filming videos. We also have a table over here where I get my nails done with Chad. You guys saw that in the long nails for a day video, which was absolutely crazy. We have our one million- I want a play button. Blocks. And then finally we have this beautiful wall of- full I want a play button. Ready to go if I ever need to do a transformation. Now you guys have seen the movie theater, the conference room and the salon. And there's one more room that I need to show you guys in the basement. And it is my favorite room of the- Show me. House. Having a master production space has been a dream of mine for so long now. When I first started doing YouTube videos, show me, show me, show me. I was filming in a little corner at my parents. Show me, show me, show me. Boxes. Finally, in this house, I can finally say that I have my dream production space. Come on in to Sister Studios. James, stop putting ads where I don't want to watch ads. Now I've got to wait 30 seconds. Now I'm going to wait 30 seconds to see what's in the room.
Okay, so obviously this space is absolutely massive. This is definitely where most of the renovations took place. And you're probably wondering, James, how did you end up with a production studio in your basement? And that is a great question. When we first moved in, fun fact, this entire area was actually an indoor pool, which is, yes, a subtle flex, but was just so unnecessary to me. So we decided to fill it in. To be fair, I'd probably do the same. I'd rather an outdoor pool than a indoor one and have something like this. My full on camera setup, which is such an upgrade from the last studio. I am such a massive nerd for production at heart, so it has honestly been so much fun for me to challenge myself and to try to keep upgrading our studios and our setup to ultimately make the- I love a setup like that. Camera and our tripod, we have our monitors, the microphone, the diffuser, the big light, everything for the backdrop, and it's- This is a success so that I strive to be. This is crazy. So you guys see, I have a monitor in front of me to see what I'm doing. There's a monitor behind the camera for Lewis, and there's also a TV right over there so any guests can see it as well, which is super awesome. I always like to have a lot of people in the room when I film my videos and our last studio was really small and crowded, which became a problem quite a lot. So it was really important for this space that we were able to have a seating area. We have our couch and chairs. And then also, like I was saying, this TV here as well, which is great for if anybody that comes over has a team or assistants along with them. Opposite the seating area next to the filming setup, we also have another paper backdrop system. And this is for photos. We have the same exact camera and the same exact lens, some more lights as well, and just a fun little that lens that lens isn't even a lens it's a tree trunk that camera is probably worth my life moving right along to this wall we have two very very special rooms and these are the sister studios but not the video studios the recording studio these used to be a steam room and a sauna once again for the indoor pool i would have kept those mm -mm. have you ever been in a sauna but we really wanted to make it much more personal. And you guys know how much of a big part of my life music is. So we figured it'd be only appropriate to build out the ultimate recording studio to make some music. One That's day. good it though. Not done quite yet. We're still waiting I like that James Charles. I do like that a lot. It's looking so good so far. The walls are fully patterned and soundproof. We have a custom desk built. We also have these really cool clouds in the ceiling from the brand Room Cloud. They gifted them to us and it just creates such a fun vibe in here. And I cannot wait to see what we're going to create in here as well one day very, very soon. And then right next door to the mixing room we also have the recording room which is <laughs> obviously a very secure door very soundproof in here so you can record vocals and nobody's gonna hear it and the last place that i want to show you in the sister studio is this i've store. always wanted like a closet like that i'm not gonna lie this like i was saying used to be the indoor pool so this is actually the indoor gym but now this is the <laughs> This is the storage room. So it was really important for me that we were able to create an area. Oh, look at Trevor just being such a good employee. <laughs> They're taking the piss so really bad. That's hilarious. An area, not only for storage of sister's apparel, but also for all of our makeup stuff as well. As you guys can see, this entire wall is all different makeup items that I have in my collection. Once again, similar to the pantry. See, I used right, to dream. Ourselves. We have all of our categories, foundations, powders, brown stuff. We have palettes, tools. We have all these eye glitters and eye tools. We have lashes, lipsticks. Literally like, everything in my collection is beautifully displayed so I know exactly where it is and I can pull it really easily if I need to go film a video out in the studio. And then to the be fair, I do like these jumpers. Dedicated to I'm not gonna lie. We have all of our different colored hoodies that we've released and we also always have our current collections as well. So whenever we have friends or guests over, we could always put together cute goodie bags or we also have the full collection for giveaways for you guys. We love, love, love doing giveaways and sending out packages to all of you sisters, whether it be on the Sisters Apparel account. <laughs> you just yeeted that in there, did you see? No, fun fact, I've been giving away $500 to whoever comments a secret emoji on my Instagram photos. Make sure you follow, turn on your post notifications to all my social media platforms because we absolutely love sending you guys packages. Thank you, Trevor. Can you pop her in the mail for me? Good to go. <laughs> Sounds good. Speaking of giveaways, you guys, make sure you keep watching to the end of today's video for our 20 million subscriber special. I think at this point, that is the basement all complete, which means the house is all complete, but there's still one last place to take you guys, and that is upstairs to the backyard. There's another ad. Angry. This is what I'm excited for. On like a real level. Like the outdoor situations on these houses are just so nice. Look, there's even like a bar there. Okay, you guys. Like just a like barbecue. The basement, the backyard.
Our yard literally looked nothing like this when we first moved in because it underwent a lot of different renovations. And this is probably the space that I'm most excited about. I know I keep saying that, but literally like I just love all the spaces and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. The last house in the last yard was really not it for a lot of different reasons. The first one being it was just too small. Not for us. Doggy, 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 doggy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. around having the time of his life with all of his toys and he has never been happier also as you can see there is a massive pool which has been incredible in the last house we were really never in the pool because of the way that it was positioned in the yard anytime after like noon when the sun starts to go down it was completely in the shade so the pool was always cold we were never in it but this pool is not the case at all it is huge and it is it is really nice yard. it gets sun <laughs> all day long and we have been spending so many days chilling by the pool or just swimming and it has been this is like a beautiful dream of trip. now i want to take you guys over to this side of the yard because this is where most of the changes took place and i am literally in love this is like do you know what i don't understand right I live in the UK, if you don't know this already. We would never ever be able to have any of these nice things unless it was under shelter. I bet he hasn't seen rain in like a year and a half. It just makes me so jealous. I want to live in America so, so bad. Anyone that's watching this that actually lives in America, I am so jealous of you. I know that you have like more earthquakes and all of like the natural disaster kind of things. I know you have a lot of those and I know it's really dangerous sometimes. That's the only thing that I'm scared of. I'll get through that any day just to have like a back garden like this and not get it rained on every single night. Anyone that's English in the comments, come and back me up. This, I'm so jealous of this guy pool houses one right here and one over there where the fireplace is now which you'll see in a second a lot of times builders in la will add guest houses or pool houses to their properties just because they can add square footage to the listing which literally equates to hundreds but it's of thousands so nice of dollars sometimes which is like mind-blowing to me it's truly a sister scam and obviously i had no reason for either one of them so we converted the first pool house into an outdoor kitchen which turned out absolutely stunning we have these beautiful black countertops and bar stools so my friends and i can sit out here and eat if the boys i bet he never uses that barbecue because if you haven't seen my other video the part one that i did to this he postmates everything so what's the point of having a, a lovely barbecue like that and not using it meats um, we have an outdoor fridge and we also have a tv as well which does rotate so we can watch music videos or the boys can watch sport games during our outdoor barbecues we have these four trees that surround the outdoor eating area along with string lights as well which i feel like creates just like a magical vibe and i really like how it feels a little bit more separated from the rest of the yard as well we went with a massive concrete dining table in the middle with a ton of different seats around it so we can all have family dinners. When the backyard was finally finished, my friends and I decided to cook for once in our lives. Now, if you guys follow me right along this way, next to the outdoor kitchen, we have a cute little ping pong table for nice when you don't know what to put in that space so you just put a ping pong table just because you can limes lemons and oranges for our citrus in the morning and then this you've got a house the backyard as well in your this back garden it's basically so right another floor to, to your house in your back garden with no shelter <laughs> they're sofas do you ever see rain do you ever see rain We've already had wow. so nights roasting marshmallows by the fire and just sitting in here. It's all white as well. It's all white. Than what was here before. Also, I mentioned in the last video that I really wanted to give shout outs to the people that made this home renovation project rewarding instead of stressful. And one person that I definitely owe a ton of thanks to is Jonathan Wan with Raising Green Construction. He literally took this backyard from drab to fab. And I do mean that literally. Just like Leclerc Decor, as soon as Jonathan and Raising Green came onto the project, it was like magic waiting to happen. And I was just so so grateful every single step of the way their team was professional super fast and just honestly cared a lot as well this is obviously my first home purchase which was really exciting, well done jonathan really scary as well there are so well many done that you would never like expect to deal with being a homeowner i know that i didn't expect to deal with obviously jonathan and his team were amazing at construction but i also just want to say a major thank you to him because he truly kind of like took on a fatherly role with me with this whole process which just made it so much easier and way more fun as well so to jonathan i love you the absolute most and if anybody watching this happens to be in la and needs any renovations done hit up jonathan and racing green they're the absolute best okay let's come on down to the stairs and on to the basketball court if you know me you would know that i'm not really a sporty person so you're probably wondering why the heck I have this in the house. Although I will not be using this very often, I do have quite a lot of boys in my life. Lewis loves basketball. A lot of my friends' husbands do. I want to skip this because your girl doesn't do sports. If you know me that well, 
Well, what, now you do. I don't oh, like sports. Now, like, really, I'm not about <laughs> Full part. stop, That's really. Okay. I hate I'm it. And I'm going to leave that part of the yard to everybody else. But this part of the yard is mine. We have this massive oak tree right here, which is so beautiful. We have this fun little hanging chair as well, which is such a vibe. Honestly, I have been just sitting out here, reading and looking at my phone, going over business emails so often. And then finally, the back Hello. of the entire house, the in-ground trampoline. Now, Good when I luck this with that. It used to be a putting green, and no offense to any golfers or anything, it's just not really thing that I would want in my house. Oh, I like that I little have swing. I've trampoline in my home for so long now, and it is finally a reality, and oh my god. We have literally been out here nonstop, jumping, doing tricks, doing flips, double bouncing each other, and also just sitting out here talking and trying to touch the leaves as well. This is literally an Olympic green <laughs> trampoline. I actually so really like it though. Fun. I bow down to you. I'm not gonna lie okay, to you. That guys, is a nice I'm house. I'm out of really, breath. really and nice house. Very, very long day at filming this house tour video, but I really hope that you guys have enjoyed seeing what we built over the past nine months. This renovation has been so much fun, and it was literally only possible because of each and every single one of you guys. I know you've been waiting. I promise it in the beginning of the video. We're gonna head down to the sister studio because I have one more thing that I want to talk to you guys about: the 20 million subscriber special. Let's go. Whew. All right, you guys, that was quite a lot of walking around. Before this house tour is officially complete, I wanted to take you back downstairs to the studio for one last thing, and that is the 20 million subscriber special. First of all, the fact that we're even talking about a 20 million subscriber special is so beyond crazy to me. Like, just thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Imagine just gaining 1 million subscribers like that and not even realizing. <laughs> Oh my god, what kind of life? What a life. I cannot even believe that this is a reality. I am so grateful that I get to do this job every single day. We were actually supposed to film this video last month when we hit 20 million, but some of the renovations in the house have been unexpected, and now we're almost to 21, which is just like literally insane. Like I said, I am just so grateful and I am so thankful to each and every single one of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. This house would not be possible if it were not for you guys. So in honor of that, for 20 million subscribers, I wanted to do something really, really special to give back and say thank you. You guys know that we've done a ton of different giveaways here on this YouTube channel. Every holiday season we always do our holiday give us lays and literally earlier we were just talking about our sisters apparel PR packages and our Instagram prize winners we even gave away $50,000 to the winner of instant influencer what? and we're so excited for season two but in honor of hitting 20 million subscribers we want to raise the stakes just a little bit higher so we're giving away $100 thousand dollars okay so here's how it's gonna work in honor of 20 million five of you amazing sisters are each going to win twenty thousand dollars and a cute little sisters apparel pr package as well all you have to do to enter is give this video a thumbs up down below subscribe click that bell icon so you can notify whenever i upload a brand new video and also make sure you follow me on all my different social media accounts i will be checking this way you can stay up to date with everything that I'm doing and also be notified if you happen to win. And finally, leave me a comment down below with your name, Imagine your, away age, your location, now. your social media handles, and I wanna know what you would do with $20,000. Would you start a new business? Would you pay off your school loans? Would you get a new car? Would you give wow. to charity? Or maybe even put a down payment down on a house? Let me know. Okay, so that's it. That's his house tour. Wow. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's pretty nice. That's a nice house. It's a very nice house, yeah. And he's given away a shangle doogly bomb amount of money. Definitely gonna win to that. Who wouldn't? <laughs> anyway, I think that is gonna be it for you guys. I'm just gonna take that out. I don't need that no more. I think that is going to be it for you guys. If you did like the video, make sure you press the subscribe button. Make sure you press the like button. And also make sure that you have the bell button on as well, just so you know when I'm not uploading. But I will see you guys soon. Let me know what you thought about his new house. Like, I'm not going to lie to you, I found it pretty banging. Like, I would dream of having a house like that. I would absolutely dream. Like, he's come a long way, so he deserves it. But yeah, you guys know what to do. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.